MP, MP. There's the man of the hour. Go get him, MP. The 76ers anxious to get off the bus and get down to business. A look from earlier as they arrived at the arena. Hola and welcome to Noche Latina, an NBA celebration of Latin heritage. We're proud to bring it to you here at 2K Sports. Hi everyone, here with analysts Grant Hill and Clark Kello. I'm Brian Anderson, Ali LaForce, our reporter. So let's take a look at the starters for the Philadelphia 76ers. We've got Maxi, Tobias Harris out there with Paul Reed. Then there's Kelly Oubre, and it's Lowry in at the point guard. And for Los Angeles... It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. Austin Reeves out there with MP. And it's Achimura in at the small forward position. And this late in the season, Grant, would you say the adage, nobody is 100% brings true? 100%. I mean, at least that was the case for me. <laughs> There's some truth in that saying, though, for everyone. Most guys might not be 100% until they get a full offseason of rest. Tip-off goes to the Lakers. Pass to Reeves. Davis with it. Cash money on the open jump shot. Smart move from the big man to get rid of it there. Defense was closing. Davis let it go. Oubre, a screen on MP. Lowry, and he lays it up and in. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Hachimura from deep. MP. And it's Harris with the rebound. Pass to Oubre. For three, Maxi. Can't get it to go. Missed his first one. And here's Davis. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. That one's good from James on the assist by Davis. And once James gets the ball near the rim, just let him go to work because he knows what he's doing down there. Harris outside. Maxi finds Lowry. Back to Maxi. Puts up a three. Sends it home from three point land. You got to get out on that if you're the defender. Maxi is very capable from beyond the arc. If you look back on Sixers history, the list of legendary big men is a long one. Exactly, B.A. And let me tell you this. Embiid's name is right there near the top of that list. You know, you think about the likes of Chamberlain, Moses Malone, those guys certainly on the list. Embiid joining them, that says a lot. Three on the clock. MP shot is off. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. And the foul called on MP. MP. That's his first foul of the game. First personal foul. First team foul. Lowry against MP. Now here's Lowry. Tightly guarded. Maxi passes to Oubre. Pass to Lowry. Shot clock at six. Offline with a three. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Back to MP. 
Davis with it. And Davis slams it home. Nice putback on that foul from Davis. Was just determined to get that rebound. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And here's Lowry. He's been productive, averaging just over seven points a game. Picked by Reed. Lowry with it. And Davis picks him up defensively. Four on the clock. And here's Oubre from the arc. Davis with a rebound. Davis has got four rebounds now. Pass to MP. Back to Davis. James, left side. On the wing, MP from deep. Gets the three to fall. LeBron doing what he does best. Creating four and elevating others. Here's Lowry. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Out left to the wing. This one for three. Drops in the three. Lowry's got five. You know, you kind of expect the big threes like that from Lowry. MP outside. Pass to Reeves. Now here's Davis. Reeves, the pass to Davis. Clock at six. And here's MP from outside. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. So far this quarter, he's been out of sync and might be pressing right now. For three, Lowry. Another three for Philadelphia. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Trailing by two. They're Last meeting was in Philadelphia, where they were unable to fight off the Sixers. They were out-hustled on the boards the last time these teams met. Yeah, and that turned the tide, the rebounding differential. They've got to focus and make it a team effort to really pound the glass. Kevin, you can understand the shot selection. I mean, he wanted to go back at him and... This came up short on the triple. Boy, he's really feeling it right now, shooting a high percentage to start this game. Timeout called the Lakers. And the Lakers will go for a different... With about a month left to play here in the regular season, let's see who among the new rookies this year has shown they have what it takes to be an NBA star and potentially a Rookie of the Year winner. You look at MP performing at a high level all season long. Fourth in our rookie list, this coaching staff has raved about his maturity. Sitting behind just three of his fellow rookies, there may still be time for him to move up this list. Well, I tell you what, that may be a bit of a reach. He'd have to do something truly extraordinary for that to happen. Now here's Melton. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Taking a look at Philadelphia. Robert Covington is out there with Tobias Harris. Then it's Aladu Diallo. Then there's DeAnthony Melton. And it's Heal in at the shooting guard position. Melton against Russell. Harris outside. Pass to Heal. Six to shoot. The shot. The Sixers again can't hit. Los Angeles has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. MP, the pass to Wood. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second, and the layup falls. Well, I love to see Wood use his great length to get to that offensive rebound. You know, since the Lakers moved to L.A. in 1960, they've had the most sustained success in the NBA. Well, think about this, B.A. From West to Magic to Kobe to LeBron, they always have a superstar. And NBA players love living in L.A. And the city 
loves basketball. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Hawks really contributed. He had 25 points, and his aggressive approach got him to the line a number of times. The way he owned aspects of the game was exciting to watch. Guys, maybe he's breaking out. Back to you. Thanks, Allie. Absolutely. He was a one-man show in that one, Grant. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. Let's see if he comes in with that same mentality tonight. Yeah, you know, every night's different. They may try to double him. They might force him to adjust or force him to make plays with the pass instead. We'll see. And the 76ers making a change here. Reed's checked in for Harris. Oubre comes in for Diallo. Maxi, he's checked in for Heal. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Melton. And I'll tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call waiting room. Here's Maxi. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got five rebounds in the game. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. You know, sometimes making it difficult for him to finish at the rim is all you can ask for from the defense. Outside Maxi. Outside Covington. Back to Maxi. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And Grant, these days, more and more teams emphasize the importance of switch defense. It's so true in the modern NBA, B.A. Every team has to be able to switch to take away a lot of the action of the offensive team. So having defenders who can guard multiple players on the court is a must. Russell's checked in for LeBron. Harris is checked in for the Sixers. Now here's Davis. Coming off a 12-point game. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Lowry against Russell. Reed passes to Maxi. And Davis with the block. That infinite wingspan of Davis is on full display there. Woo! His energy is unmatched. And you know, you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Now here's Maxi. 20 points for him last game against the Suns in Phoenix. Baseline try, and that's good for two. Maxi's gotten four this quarter. Recognized that space given, and Maxi pulled up in the mid-range for the bucket. MP outside. Let's it fly. Again, the Lakers score. You know, he started slow, but now in the second quarter, he's finding his groove. Maxi against MP. Steps back and shoots. And it's Maxi missing. The Lakers in the lead. MP, the pass to Achimura. Count that bucket. He did. I mean, MP understands how to read a defense, including how to spot overcommitments in getting it to open teammates. Now here's Maxi. Nine points in the game. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Davis has got seven rebounds in the game. And it's slammed in by Achimura. And just shredding apart the defense with his passing. He's helping to pace this offense so well. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. Here's Maxi after the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. The floater. And Davis with the block. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. They've given up eight of the last ten points in transition. And defensively, you've got to recognize that threat and make the correction. And it's Maxi. Missing. You know, the scoring efficiency has been low, and it's not helping them on the scoreboard. Davis, the pass to MP. Russell from outside. Good, and the assist goes to MP. MP's got his fifth assist in this one. For three, here's Harris. Can't hit that one. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. And so it's Los Angeles. A sizable lead of 14 at the break. They just can't miss right now. Every shot they're taking, you assume, is going in. 
We'll be back in a moment. Welcome, everybody. And as we start to work our way through the season, a sneak peek at the Rookie of the Year race. Chet Holcomb's basically positionless. He handles the ball. He shoots like a guard. He has the versatility of a forward. He's, what, about seven feet something? I don't know, man. This guy has the length of a center. Just got to get out the way and let him go to work, just like me. Now let's talk about that first half. It's been a runaway success for the Los Angeles Lakers. They Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. A fantastic game from Anthony Davis in this one. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive. Offensive performance. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. MP is out there with Austin Reeves. And it's Achimura in at the three spot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Reeves, the pass to MP. Launches a three. That one no good. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Well, as we've seen throughout the history of the Lakers, Clark, it's a big free agent and trade destination. Well, I think part of it is the weather attraction. I mean, guys love playing where the weather is always nice, not to mention to be with the team whose goal is to win championship. Now here's MP. 14 points, their largest margin of the game. Back to James. Pass to MP. And it's Harris with the rebound. And Harris has got the ball here for Philadelphia. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Lowry, the pass to Reed. Here's Harris. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Boy, that's a nice touch from Harris right there, showing you exactly how under control he is close to the basket. Pass to Reeves. Down low. Out to James. Let's go with a three. There! LeBron for three! And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Now here's Maxi. The D's right on him. And Davis with the block. This isn't how they wanted to start the second half. Only one of four. Shot is good by Reeves. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Now here's Harris. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Back to Maxi. Out to Oubre. From the arc, the Lakers with a rebound. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10-rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. MP finds James. Pass to Davis. Second chance shot. The rebound by Maxi. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. Oh, boy. Looks like he was injured there. And you guys know that this is something every player worries about, no matter your age or your ability. Yeah, you know, aside from some of the player protection rules, which have been a benefit, a lot of it just comes down to what the body can withstand. And the 76ers with some changes. Heald comes in for Tobias Harris, and it's Melton in for Lowry. Looking at the 2K leaderboard, here are the teams that have been consistently dominant on the offensive end of the floor over the last month. In the third spot, the Lakers. It's been a long month for anybody who plays these guys. I mean, they've been shooting the lights out, and it's been game after game after game. For Philadelphia, they've gone only one for six here in the second half. 
Here's Maxi. And he's back in business as the jumper finally drops for him. Maxi's got 11. This guy is a flat out pure score. Tyre. Reese Maxi, major game. Russell to pass to MP. MP with a step. Ah! So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Kelly Oubre picks one up, and the league looking to curb how much the top teams can spend. Stricter financial rules now in place, Clark. Yeah, I like the salary cap. Its theory is good and well intentioned. Um, I think it does um, help the small market teams a bit. A lot of teams didn't like how certain West Coast teams were spending, but I still think there's room to give teams the option to exceed limits if they're willing to pay the consequences for doing so. So it's the Lakers now. The Sixers getting their last shot to go. Back to MP. And the call will be against Kelly Oubre. That'll be a second foul of the game. Diallo's checked in for Maxi. Second team. 76 here substitution. Number 31. Hachimura, the pass to James. Just four to shoot. Pass to Davis. Russell from deep three-point land. And again, the Lakers, no good. It's never easy from that distance. But we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. But that looked to me, guys, like a heat check. And it was maybe a step out of his range. Now here's Melton. He's got six. And here's Diallo. The three is up. Drains the triple. Diallo's gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. For Los Angeles, they've gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. It seems you could bring in anybody to this team and pair them with Embiid, and they'd still win, Greg. Oh, they got a solid roster. But there's no denying that Embiid is the heartbeat of this team. The 76ers go how Embiid goes, kind of like our broadcast with you. And in the last five seasons, they've gone to the playoffs. Yeah, what you like about MP is how hard he worked to put himself in a position for success. Woods checked in for the Lakers. Prince comes in for Achimura. One nineteen left in the third quarter. Prince against Diallo. Picked by Reed. Pass to Oubre. This one for three. The Lakers with a rebound. Davis has got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. to MP. Here's Prince. Still no points. Fade away. And Davis gets it to go on the assist from Prince. And the Lakers lead by 14. 46 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Melton finds Oubre. Healed on the wing. Let's it go from deep. Davis for the rebound. Davis has got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wood passes to Prince. Davis against Melton. Shoots from the right block. And scoring with the play inside is Davis. Davis has got four points this quarter. Just make sure you keep getting him touches. I mean, you love what he's doing at the offensive end. Don't go away from him. Healed up top. The Sixers with another miss. Got it off in time. That shot, no good. And here at the end of the third, it's a double-digit ball game. Lakers ahead, up by 16. All right, we're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Served him. He's making a change here. In peace, checked in. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Maxi's checked in. 
Here they are. The Liquor Girl Dance Team. Enjoy. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. Back to Prince. Pass to MP. Healed against Russell. Now here's MP. Five on the clock. Three-pointer. The rebound by Bamba. Not himself from range right now, but the only way out of this funk is to keep trying. All right, time for an injury report. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce to see how Tobias Harris is doing. Allie? Well, I caught up with the head athletic trainer for Philadelphia. They're treating it as a very serious injury. Early indications are that it's a broken shoulder. Unfortunately, he suffered a serious injury. Obviously, he won't return tonight, and he could miss lots of games. What a tough break for him and the team, B.A. Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Grant. That's true. It's the uncertainty factor with injuries that can be so hard to handle. And, you know, for him, just watching his teammates unable to contribute, that's really a helpless feeling. Taking a look at the 76ers. Maxi runs point with Melton at the two. Amadou Diallo out there with Buddy Heald. And it's Bamba in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Well, I don't think he's performing up to his own expectations, but they still find themselves out in front. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Hey, I thought there was some style there, guys. What are you guys looking at? I mean, it was still a pretty sweet, flavorful one-hand flush. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Well, you know, for me, the passing has been fantastic all night. Everybody loves watching this style of basketball where the ball moves and players move. Coaches, fans, and even us broadcasters can appreciate that kind of action. Another thing they're doing well tonight is shooting from long distance. All game long, they've been finding openings at the perimeter. The 76ers making a switch here. Reed's checked in for Bamba. Covington comes in for Diallo. Oubre, he's checked in for Heald. And it's Lowry in for Melton. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Nick Nurse had to say to the team. They took a laid-back approach to the huddle, telling the team, everyone thinks this game is over, so just go out there and let it rip. Let's see what we can do. And I think the players love that message. Allie, thank you. Back to MP. Puts up a three. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got his fifth assist in this one. Now Maxi. Pick by Reed. Shoots. Offensive rebound. And here's Oubre from the arc. He buries it from three. And, you know, even though he's not a lights-out shooter from deep, the defense still has to be more aggressive there. Pass to James. Now MP. Here's Hachimura. Gets wide right. Hits off the rim. For Philadelphia, they've gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. And here is Maxi. Out to Lowry. Picked by Reed from the arc. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. I understand why he took the shot. They need the points, but that's just not a good look. And Davis slams it home. There's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley-oop. Maxi with it. Pass to Oubre. Wing shot on the way. James with the rebound. James has got six rebounds in the game. Achimura with the ball. He's covered by Oubre. It's slammed in by Achimura. I just love the strong finish there inside. Man, he's got that dunker's mindset, doesn't he? Always ready to pounce. An absolutely tremendous athlete able to go up and finish over the biggest of defenders. Right at the free throw line. And Reeves pulls it down. No need to rush here. Take your time. Take your time. This is where you can reset and try to get a good shot. And it's James with the jam. Hey, this was exactly the kind of game Coach wanted to see from them. High effort, great play at both ends, gets the win for the Lakers. 
when you look at their assist totals, you can see why it was easier for them to score. The ball was really popping tonight. And good things seem to happen when you're patient and willing to make the next pass. Their offense has flowed really well. After coming away with this W, this will give them 42 wins on the year. And they fought hard for this win, guys. No one wants to get swept in the season series, even a short one. Most definitely. I mean, even though you see opponents outside of your conference only twice a year, you still don't want to have that feeling of being swept. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Anthony Davis. Boy, this game really had his name all over it. I mean, he relished being the guy to carry the load offensively. Now to Achimura. Pass to Reeves. It's James on the wing. MP outside. Tipped. Stolen by Lowry. Tipped away. Stolen by MP. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor. And they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them.